involved in a domestic disturbance with his grandmother. We, we do know that he was living with his grandparents and was involved in some type of domestic disturbance with his grandmother in which he shot his own grandmother. At that point, he fled from that residence to the area where the school's at. That's where the vehicle was crashed and he was able to make entry into the school. That's when we got calls from local law enforcement that the shooter was making his way into the school. So he, he meets resistance from law enforcement at the gate, fights his way in. Once he's inside the school, what happens? Right, so we had local police officers here from the Uvalde Police Department, school police officers, as well as state troopers that were responding on scene first. They were the primary officers on scene. They heard the gunfire. They saw the shooter. At that point, they were met with gunfire by the shooter. Several police officers were shot. Wow. Um, at, at that point, the gunman, the shooter, was able to make entry into a classroom, barricaded himself, and at that point, it just started shooting children and teachers that were inside that classroom, having no regard for human life, just a complete tragedy and an evil person uh, going into this school and killing children for no, for no reason whatsoever.